routine has not changed and today out of all the days I had to get a big zit right here on my chin but you know my skin has really like my rosacea has really been acting up but it's because of the humidity and it happens once a year so I just have to deal with it it doesn't look as bad as it did a couple of days ago and my hair is done from yesterday but since it is very humid I think I'm going to retouch it recurl some sections and then let it fall down again as I'm getting ready so that's what I'm gonna do and if you're asking how my lips are so hydrated it's like my latest obsession since March I think this came out of March it is a lip peptide from Ole Hepkinson and it has a creamsicle scent it's so delicious it's long lasting like the little amount that I apply right now will probably last me three hours like it's that good okay now that the hair is retouched I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera in one two Okay, now that the eyebrows are filled in, I like to make them like a little ombre, like as natural as possible. So now we are going to fluff them up. And I am using my favorite Amazon find, this brow freeze, literally under $10. It tried everything, the Anastasia, the Morphe, um, I think Patrick Ta has one. I tried them all, long lasting, and it does not leave any white residue. And I actually, found a little hack. I gifted this Sephora clear brow gel and since the tip of it, it is so fine, I've been using, instead of using like a disposable spoolie, I have found that if I mix both, my eyebrows look even fluffier. As you can see, the bristles are so tiny, it gets every single hair and I'm here for that. So I just start spiking them up and I have very fine eyebrows at least i got lucky with my hair on my actual head because my eyebrows are so fine i've tried everything nothing works so shading them in will do i have thought and i have gotten a lot of offers about doing microblading but it's just i don't know I'm just a freak when it comes to my eyebrows i'd rather just do them every day i don't know They are still wet once they set they look so nice and fluffy and natural that i'm here for it it's a very busy day as you can see by today's title we have two events an influencer event and a personal event and i'm here for it that's what the summer is all about and today's event is with 28 roll it's more of like cocktails sunset drinks and like little bites and i get to meet all my content besties from Instagram in real life, which is very exciting. And then I do have a baby shower right after. What I put on my skin right before doing my eyebrows was the Rare Beauty Primer. Love it. It does not clog my pores. I know on camera I probably look white, but I am very, very tan. I have not gotten the chance to find like a concealer. I usually don't like contour or like do the whole foundation thing just because my skin is so sensitive to everything. My rosacea like affects everything. So I tend to just keep it like very light. I'm sure if you have been a subscriber for a long time, you know my skin is very sensitive. I really don't apply anything to my skin. But I want to look my best today. Hmm, it's pretty light, but I need to cover these eyebrows. Prime Day, I actually got a great deal on this beauty blender holder. It is so cute. It's like made out of silicone. It's all its color like oak, and I love it. It literally hides and protects your beauty blender so efficiently. Take it out, I'm gonna dab it a little bit. Make sure you're washing your beauty blender. Like I said, it's summer, I'm tan. I like to go as minimal as possible. Before we get all the fun going, I actually have like five campaigns to film, but I think I honestly probably only have time for two. So yeah, it's just been chaos lately. Since we did go on recent vacay back home to Vegas, once we got back, I had to make up my shifts and just do errands. So time has really been, I've been cutting time real close. We are done covering up all our spots and redness. I'm gonna go in with this Sephora matte powder that I recently got. Hopefully it matches my skin color. I don't know if it's as close as to my tan. You know what, if my face is gonna look white, it's gonna look white. 
I like to use these disposable applicators instead of a brush. The application is just more smooth. And since I want to be glowing all day, I'm going to use my red or dye. This is honestly one of my favorite golds. Like, oh, it's like a light gold. It's not like golden gold, like a yellow gold. It's just champagne-ish. Oh. I'm using this lip liner for Wicon Cosmetics that I got in Milan. Key to a good lip is making sure your lip liner is as sharpened as possible. So you see, I'm just gonna go in with one of my Armani lipsticks in the shade Lip Power 109. Literally every day pinkish nude lip color and since it is semi gloss semi matte to make it completely matte i'm going to show you in a minute since we want matte lips a good hack is using setting powder to make your lips matte so just grab a little bit you put some on the top of your finger and done Look at the bottom, look at the top. I am going to film a campaign for Edwarmy first. I have to, that is literally due tonight. Of course, I'm going to take you guys along the whole day. So, a little behind the scenes, a little ratch, but this is the living room. And since the lighting is way better here, even though it looks like it's going to rain, I am going to film right there. And you can't even tell that I have the TV right here. I will be right there. So these are the current home updates. My hands are already getting puffy, but I just finished filming a campaign for Adore Me behind the scenes. Don't tell them I told you for set top. So by the time you guys see this, it will probably be already up on my socials. And if not, then make sure to follow me on all my socials. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Lemonade. I'm finally dressed. I was so undecided between a maxi dress from 12 Tribe or this two-piece set from Boohoo that I've been able to wear. And this just screams strings. It's appropriate for the nighttime, for the daytime. And I think it's just fun and girly. It's more me. I'm definitely more comfortable. I'm obsessed with all the ruffles and like the floral. I was not able to get a pink bag, so I said a white bag and white heels will definitely do the trick. But how cute is this set? I am ready. Here's a quick break before we leave. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Ana Luisa. Tell me the cutest pieces. Ana Luisa jewelry elevates your everyday style. They are tarnish free, so they will not get dirty. They will not lose its color. And for today's humidity, they are 100% humidity tested. You guys have no idea how humid it is that once I leave this house, it's my hair is going to get messed up, but my jewelry won't. All of their designs are so cute and super affordable. They start at $39. They also offer free and fast shipping within the U.S. And all of their products are backed up by two-year warranty. Something that comes damaged or breaks on you, you have two years to get it fixed. They are carbon and climate neutral. It's so important to get long-lasting jewelry affordable at such fine quality. So today we are going to start with our small pouches. How cute is this? It comes in magnetic pouches. Take it on the go or when you are traveling and you do not have to worry about any of your jewelry falling out cutest little pouch you don't know now you will know i'm obsessed with gold i'm obsessed with pearls this ring since i do have my wedding ring on my left hand the right hand also needs jewelry most minimal gold pearl ring how cute and dainty now up next we have another ring how cute let's apply it on our middle finger because we love the mid rings how cute Next up, we have these green colored pouches. These are a little bit bigger. These will fit your necklaces. Oh my god. How cute is this initial necklace? It's minimal. It's gold. And there is two slots for you to adjust your necklace according to how you would like it. And there you go. How cute and pretty. Wow. 
I love it. Last but not least, the last necklace. I will be lying if I didn't tell you that I have not worn this one, but I have actually been getting a good wear out of this necklace. I did open this one up because I was in very much need of a silver necklace. And it's also an initial letter, but it's my wife's initial letter J. And it's the same design, same length, super cute, minimal, chic love it so make sure to either use the code that i have on the screen to get 20 percent off your next order fast and effective shipping within the us and make sure before you leave to check out the description box click the link get 20 percent off and get jewelry for everyday wear thank you so much to anna Lisa for sponsoring this portion of today's video now we are leaving so we are 10 minutes away my lovely hubby is dropping me off yeah she's like i was like should i take an uber she's like not on my I'm dropping you off and picking you up. Yeah, she's just hanging around like a bachelor. <laughs> she's literally the best, like the best. And if you are new here, my name is Kelly and this is my wife, Jay. Subscribe, hit that red button right there below. We have to do our comeback to YouTube and we're better with this video. Hit that bell button and give this video a big thumbs up because we're finally back. Oh, you look too good. No, oh, it's hot outside. No, for real, it's really hot. And a major, major tip for all the girlies, if you are getting a ride and you want at least your curls to like arrive a little bouncy, I left, as my wife says, my little Frida curler. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yeah, and it comes literally in so much clutch. Like your curls will at least last a little bit longer than how they were before. So right now they're a little tight, but once I leave the car, they will automatically drop down. So. We are eight minutes, to, actually six minutes away from 235th. That's where the event is going to be. I'm gonna meet up with a bunch of girlies. We're gonna take, sh we're gonna shoot some content before, and I will see you guys very soon. I do not get to vlog thank you guys so much for following along it was probably a messy vlog but a definitely a good comeback for YouTube I will definitely start vlogging more videos although YouTube is pretty dead but it's never late to just get back on the game and I will see you guys on the next video please hit that subscribe button right there below hit that bell button and give this video a big thumbs up for summer and coming back to YouTube we have an exciting vlog coming up real soon right babe yeah girl. So stay tuned for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!